and shit, chilling, bullying, and shit. Man, o -o over the last two months, man, you've been all over the tabloids, the blog sites, you know, the, over the last two, a lot of people didn't really know who you were, really, but you, your name is starting to buzz a little bit, man. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling the same. Um, when I first see myself on Say Cheese, filling out my drink, and once once I seen the comments, and I was like, damn, it was, it was it was a lot of people hating on me in the comments. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? From people calling me lame, from people calling me uh, fake lean supper. I just laugh at that shit. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> Like most definitely, and a lot of people, the number one thing was like, who is this nigga? Say cheese, y'all always posting some unknown niggas. But one thing I was trying to tell our following was like, yo, this dude, he got more views than half y'all niggas, half y'all rappers that's, that's talking down on him right now. Like, this dude is not just no random dude. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 hell yeah. So, where are you from? Because a lot of people, they act like they, you know, they, they haven't seen you before. Like, where exactly are you from? Well, I was born in Vietnam. And uh, I have moved to Florida, uh, Broward County, Florida, uh, exactly when I was two. And I've been in and out from there in Boston then, but I was raised in Broward County, Florida. Okay, okay. So, you know, I've, I've seen, you know, recent interviews and stuff like that. You talked about in school, you used to get bullied and, and stuff of that nature. Talk about that. Um, Basically, when I was in, like, middle school and high school, not a lot of people wanted to be my friend. Not a lot of people wanted to surround their, like surround themselves or associate themselves with me because like I was the kid I always like I was quiet you know what I'm saying I was stay to myself and I was always myself and people ain't like that so it was always people bigger than me and it was always people that had like the like the bigger advantage of me so they just took advantage of my kindness and from there I got bullied and shit you know teased hated on and yeah I embraced all that shit and you know. Fuck them. Right, facts, facts. So, I mean, are people, are people bullying you because of, you know, because of your, you know, where you're from, the way you talk? Like, yeah, honestly, people, people were bullying, bullying me because I was Asian, you know? And I was surrounding myself with all, like, street niggas and shit. So, like, people in school were just like, oh, yeah, you think you're black, you think you're this, you think you're that. Like, you're still in people's culture, and I'm over here, like, I was just going with the flow. I ain't have nothing to say. Right, so... That's when you met XXX, right? Yeah. Okay, now how did you meet him? I mean, was, this, was he bullying you too or no? Um, nah, he wasn't. Uh, I met him through uh, Ski, actually. And from there, we was just friends. First, we was just friends, and then I found out who he was and like how he made music and shit. And I was just helping him promote his music and shit. Right, so at this time, XX, XXX didn't really have a big following. Um, at the moment, back then, he really, he didn't, but he was known in, in the city. Right, okay. So, back when you used to get bullied, XXX used to, like, fight, like, niggas who was hating on you and shit? Type shit. Okay. Type shit. Okay, so, okay, facts, 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 okay. So, you get cool with XXX and, you know, uh, stuff like that. What's next after that? Um, honestly, I met X, and then I started to ch uh, chill with Ski more, and from there, they were they were just doing shows back to back, and me and my friend, how my name is Ryan, was just, we were head of promotion, so before X and Ski got big, uh, me and my friend was just promoting their music, uh, members only, and very rare, back then was a whole, co uh, whole collective, and it was like 40, maybe 32 people in the group chat, and everybody had a goal uh, every month. And we used to use this app called Google Sheets, and everybody had a goal to do. For example, somebody had to DM this person's music link at this exact time, you know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just shit to like promote people's music and shit. Right, how long ago was this? This was like two, three years ago. Okay, so two, three years ago, you were promoting these guys' music. Did you ever think these dudes would take off, or was it just like, you yeah. know, was it all a dream? Yeah, I, I always had faith in them boys. Yeah, I knew they would to take off, somehow. That's crazy, so what, so, okay, so, what, what was next? I mean, how did, what caught on fire, you know, that led to, to their success? Um, shit, look at me blew up, and yeah, the boy got released from jail, and, 
you know, a big explosion happened, and then I, I started making music, and then, you know, clout. So did you, so, so do you feel like you played a part in these guys' success? Like, do you feel like you deserve some of the credit for their success? No, nah, I ain't that type of person. I did it because of the love, you know what I'm saying? And that's what friends do. I'm not that type of person to count favors and shit, so no, nah, I'm not the reason of their success, but, you know, people know what's up. Right. Okay, so you see them making all this money and, you know, fucking bitches and all that. When did you start? Was that like, like, <laughs> why did you start rapping? Like, did you start, you know what I'm saying? Did you feel left out? You know, did you um, like, have potential to be a rapper? I, at first, I felt left out, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, them boys told me to start making music. Ski told me to start making music and everybody around me, like my manager and my friends and shit, told me to start making music. And once I did, you know, at first I didn't have no fans. I had to build like a solid foundation for myself. So from there, it was hard, but I made me, I started making music seriously, maybe January 2016. And from there, basically a whole year passed and, you know, shit changes. Right, I mean, do you do you go to ski mask and do you go to XXX for help or is it the type of you know type of situation? I mean, I used to. Don't get me wrong. Like I made it. Like back back then, probably like two and a half years ago, I probably do ask for advice and shit. But I'm old man now. You know what I'm saying? And they they taught me everything I needed to learn in life. So I'm gonna just use that as an advantage to learn myself. Right, right, right. So I mean. I mean, now, it, I mean, I mean, so yeah, basically you just want to say that you got it on your own. You don't ever want nobody to throw it in your face. I mean, you. basically I did get it on my own, but I, like I did have all my niggas help me get to where I am. I did have people help me with my music, you know what I'm saying? But like, this is just a start. Like where I am right now, this is only the start. And I've been to myself like months now and it's, it's been doing good, you know? I've been like to myself and shit. I ain't really been fucking with nobody. Right. Now, the record, Talk, that's your biggest record, right? Yeah. Okay, how did that take off? Was it just like some SoundCloud shit? Uh, this was know? honestly on some just going to the studio high as fuck and just recording. I was I was at uh, my, my homeboy Jimmy Duval shit in Miami and I was, I was just chilling, and then the beat came on. I told him to tweak a few things, tweak a little beat pattern. And from there, I it just came out. To be honest with you, there was no planning on that song at all. It just came out. Right, facts. Now, I mean, like I said before, you've been all over the blogs lately. And a month ago, you were coming at Ski Mask. You were coming at XXX, you know, saying that, um, you know, quote me if I'm wrong. I mean, t uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, you know, about these guys changing on you for the fame and Hollywood this and, you know, you know, y'all exposing each other and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, let's, let's talk about that situation. Like, was all that true? Was it, was it like, was it a scheme to get you popping? Um, <laughs> to be honest with you. All right. So it was me and Ski. XXS has nothing to do with this. Uh, me and Ski, we were just mad at each other. You know what I'm saying? And it was just also... It wasn't even that deep. It was just awesome, like, uh, what's the word? I, out of like, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't even that deep, and we were just mad at each other, and we were just lashing out on each other. Um, I recently taught a ski, we made up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we cool and shit. We just laughed about the situation. That's just. Hey, I mean, was it, was, it, was it a situation to where, like, you asked for a verse or something go your way, or? Um, honestly, it was just miscommunication. And, right. you know, it was just miscommunication, honestly. All right. How do you feel, like, do you get in the way when, you know, Ski and, um, and uh, XXX, they go at it? Like, do, do you, do you kind of, like, get in the way and kind of like, yo, y'all need to chill out? Or is it just like, oh, you no, know, no, nah, nah, like, different? honestly, like, like, like I said, XXX has nothing to do with this. It was the, the little situation was just between me and Ski. Like, they not fake. They ain't never go Hollywood on me. You know what I'm saying? The shit I said right. about Ski was just a reaction to what he said about me. To so cool. Nice. So wait, so where, what, what, did, what did it start off saying that you was clout chasing, right? Yeah, he called me a clout sucking ass, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, it just led on to, you know what I'm saying, this and that, this and that. And 
Yeah, and then I talked to him, and then we just laughed about that shit, to be honest with you. He apologized, I apologized. It wasn't nothing really deep. But people, people took that shit serious. Like, that shit went, I know what I said went viral. Cause what I said. But yeah, like, I mean, you, you said he wasn't. I mean, when you when you put out the situation about his kid, it was just like, you know, that the blogs latch on to shit like that. You yeah, know what I, yeah. The negative. Yeah, yeah. The blogs did catch on to that real quick. Is it something that like you regret? Like, damn, I kind of fucked up airing out my nigga's business. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's things we do regret. You know what I'm saying? Like, I regret doing that, and he regret doing. What he did, you know what I'm saying? We was both wrong at the situation, but we grown men and we fucking moved on from that, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's my brother and I got unconditional love for him, so. Man, that's what's up. Now, the last week, man, Fredo Santana passed away. Um, R.I.P. You know, to a legend, R.I.P. to Fredo. Oh, man. Right. Like, facts, man, and, and it's a lot of rappers that Know, little peep and you know a lot of rappers that, that have been going down for drugs oh, yeah. and pills and, and stuff like that um now this week you announced that you would stop you know you stopped the lean and a lot of people were like oh he's clout chasing he's doing this for the gram let's talk about that yeah um so i i was literally sipping drink the day before fredo passed away um that was when i had flew to new york for yams day and literally the same night I was I was sipping drink, I was buying that shit, but I had flew to New York with drink and I had bought my last deuce in New York and I was sipping that shit, you know what I'm saying? And I fell asleep, like I, I literally fell asleep on drink. I wanted to wake up so bad to, cause I had to make music and shit and I literally couldn't wake up. My bot did not let me wake up. So I felt like shit that day, well that night I had fell asleep in the morning I woke up I look at my phone and I see Fredo passed away and that made me feel like shit, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit crushed my whole day because at one point I did look up to Fredo like 2012, 2013, you know what I'm saying? When Drew Music was popping and yeah, I found that out and I, I dead ass had like my only a deuce left. To people who said I only throw out a line or two, regardless of the fact that you throwing out one line, two line, three lines. Do not drink that shit. Throw it out if you even have one. But I seen that shit and I automatically had to throw it out because I was feeling crazy the night before and I honestly didn't give a fuck what nobody had to say about that shit. Clout chasing, clout this, clout this. I don't give a fuck. Like, this year, clout don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? This year, clout don't mean shit. Back then, clout probably meant something, but that shit don't mean nothing. I'd rather have respect yeah, nah, than clout. Nah, big facts, man. I mean, now when you were sipping lean, how much were you spending a week on lean? Damn. Monthly, and we're gonna go weekly. Monthly, I'll spend thousands of dollars on this shit. And like what, like three, what, three bands, five bands, ten Probably bands. like four, five bands on some drink. Yeah, monthly, and like, I added it all up, and I was like, damn, I'm tripping, like, I'm tweaking, you know what I'm saying? Like, five grand could have went to something better, and I, I really, yeah, I had to have a really long thought process about that shit. Nah, big facts, man, now, you just recently stopped, you know, you stopped quick, I mean, you just, you recently just stopped, I mean, have you, have you been itching it, you know, have you been having withdrawals, or? Nah, I haven't have, nah, no withdrawals, um, i I've had withdrawals before, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you a real drink sipper, you know what the withdrawals do. And like, I, I've had enough with that shit and I wasn't with that shit no more. So I had to cut that shit from my life for for a little bit at least. Probably like six, right. seven months. Man, that's what's up, man. Now, how do you feel about, you know, uh, you know, this day and age, just the long hair, face tags, colorful dreads, you know? So when people see you, they kind of feel like you fall into that same category. I understand what people say. Like when people talk about that, like they just now see who I am. I've been have face tattoos. I've been have face tattoos before anybody else had face tattoos. Before X and Ski, like they had face tattoos first, and they they inspired me to get my face tattoo. That was like 2015. I've been had this shit. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, don't give a fuck what anybody has to say. And if they put me into that category, oh well, they still speaking about me. I honestly don't care if anybody has my name in their mouth because that's just gonna keep me relevant. Yeah, 
I'm, 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 I'm goddamn 17 years old, so if anybody try to beef with me, they dumb as fuck, because unless you legit and you beefing with me, and then you a grown-ass man, you try to beef with a fucking 17-year-old, like, what's up with that? That shit is stupid. Hey. Nah, that, that's facts, man. I mean, um, now, one thing I did notice, too, is that, you know, you say the N-word, you know, a lot. And for me, personally, I mean, I understand because I know, you know, I, 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 grew, up, I grew up around a lot of Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. And, you know, I had Mexican friends that said nigga because they, they grew up around niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it was, it was never really an issue. So, how do you, you know, and you say the N-word, you know, it's like in your vocabulary. Do you feel like you have to, or you plan on stop, you know, stop saying that because the bigger you get, that can kind of tarnish your rap career? I mean, that probably in like that, that like tarnish my rap career. That's probably maybe you know what I'm saying, but I mean, like, I don't feel like you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm not trying to say it in no type of way. It's just the, like 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 how you said. I was raised. I was raised around black people. My mom didn't raise me. My peers raised me. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, all my brothers is black. Really, literally. So, do I care that I'm right. going to so probably change right, my rap right, career? Right, probably people, not. They, they, it's no problem. Say it again. When you say it around your homies, I mean it's not really an issue. Nah, it ain't really an issue. Like, I don't go around saying, nigga, nigga, this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that type of person, but, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, it's just normal. Like, right. people, I mean, people, make people make it a big deal. People make it a big deal because they think I'm still in the black culture. People think I'm trying to be black. People think I'm trying to be this, this, and that. Honestly, I have nothing to say to that, to be honest with you. I know myself. And the people that, Know me, know me, so honestly don't give a fuck what anybody says.